Welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. In my last video, I just tried to work out what we think Berlin might produce by comparing the size of the footprint of the building with the other factories. I have been looking at these numbers more and something didn't quite feel right. I redid them and I found my mistake. I had one of the mentions of the German factory twice what it should have been. When we recalculate it, it comes from 1 million square meters to about 550,000 square meters, which does sound more believable. And this still is five times the size of the Model Y factory in Shanghai, and five times 200,000 still comes to 1 million, which is what I actually based most of my models on. That does seem to be the consensus of what people think too. So sorry about that, I thought I should let you all know. In addition to that, I decided to also check out the size of the Austin factory while we're at it. And to my surprise, it was only around 220,000 square meters using the same principles. So as far as I can tell, Berlin has about twice the footprint of Austin, something that I actually was not aware of, but I think I did get it right this time. These buildings are very high though, some look like three stories, so perhaps volume might be really a better metric to judge them by. Anyway, I guess this is just a bit of fun really more than anything, and shouldn't be taken too seriously. I was just trying to think of creative ideas that we could possibly use to calculate what the company is doing and what it will become, and try and read between the lines as much as possible. Anyway, so sorry again, and hopefully it didn't get your hopes up too much. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.